Based on this latest report, I think it's pretty abundantly clear exactly what Tesla plans on doing over the next two years when it comes to gigafactories. Doesn't involve any new sites. That's the news. Here is their plans. Here is our how I think it will play out. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining in on the journey of making the world better. Now, Tesla is apparently trying to acquire more land in Germany. Why? Rumors are right now they want to build a second gigafactory in Germany. If you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you don't have to. So what is going on? Well, seriously, this piece of land that Tesla is planning on apparently acquiring in Germany is a it's not going to be easy. It's a tree plantation. You all know how it went, right? When Tesla tried to build a factory on a tree plantation, even though it was just a plantation, not natural forest. Still, the Green League and the other leagues who are paid for by Volkswagen and legacy auto manufacturers in Germany and who knows who else, political donors and the rest, they will have a field day on this. It's going to be a absolute for Tesla to be able to build their second factory there. Clearly, they are committed if they're planning on buying this. If. It's a big if. We don't know for sure if this is true. But it appears as though it probably will happen. So what's this report? Well, first, I'm going to share with you exactly what's happening here. Then Tesla's plans for the next two years. According to unofficial reports, Tesla is planning to require an additional 100 hectare lot, which is adjacent to the already massive 300 hectare property, which is big enough for a few more gigafactories. In other words, Tesla doesn't need the land unless they're planning on building another gigafactory. The additional space on the east between the RE1 railway line and the L23 and L38 country roads is the area that Tesla are looking at. Nothing is official at this point. Nothing is certain at this point but there are pretty strong rumors in circles of authorities and they sound legit. According to the report, a large part of the land belongs to the state of Brandenburg and would be suitable for sale, but it might require a change to the development plan for the area and another agreement related to water usage, water production area. Like in the case of the main area, currently there is mostly a tree farm. So we've got big problems here, right? If or when they buy this land, they have to get the permit changed, first of all, so they can even buy it, then the permit changed so they can get rid of the tree plantation, then so they can develop it with a development plan and also the water permitting. There's a lot they have to do. They had to do all this as well, by the way, when they built the current factory in the current site. So Tesla know what they're in for. The estimated cost of this land is 13 million euros, which is 13.7 million US dollars. But it's a drop of water in the pond. For, that's nothing for Tesla, right? What's going on right now? Tesla is ramping up production at its factory in Germany, right? Ramping up Model Y production. Plus, they want to build, what? 4680 battery cell production in Germany, right? This factory, I believe Tesla plans on building it out between this factory and potentially the new Gigafactory to at least 1 million cars per year. That's part of Tesla's two-year plan. Another next part of their plan, of course, is the the second Gigafactory that I announced yesterday that they're building in China. 450,000 cars per year are going to come out of that factory. And of course, they are also ramping up production significantly by around 40% in the existing facility in Shanghai. We're going to be looking at, I believe, by the end of 2023, around about production capacity of one and a half million cars per year coming out of Gigafactory Shanghai. Then of course, we've got Texas. Tesla will focus on ramping up production at Texas. And in addition, they'll do a similar thing at Fremont where they can ramp up and increase production there by making that facility faster, more efficient, and having a big revamp where it's gonna have similar production lines to say Gigafactory Shanghai, which will put it in a position to be able to produce quite a few more cars. So yeah, that's what I predicted many months ago. I'm predicting it now. Tesla are not going to announce any new Gigafactories within the next 12 months. 
aside from the one that they already announced, right next to their factory in Shanghai, and this one here in Germany. That will be it. That will be Tesla's big plan. They don't need necessarily all these other gigafactories that everyone is saying they need. They need a gigafactory here in India, and they need a gigafactory here. India does not make sense. It doesn't. They don't produce enough cars in India. The Indian car market is tiny in comparison to what? The European car market. It's minuscule in comparison to the Chinese car market. And it's very small in comparison to the US car market. It doesn't make sense for Tesla to go to India. That's not happening. Not in the next three years, four years, five years anyway, right? But production in China will likely double in the next two years. Production in Germany, well, we're probably going to see maybe 20x what we're at right now. Same thing. King Factory Texas, same thing. Fremont. That will be the key for Tesla going forward. Not these new factories popping up all over the globe. They don't need them. Yes, eventually they will need them. And eventually they will be built, but not within the next two years. I called it. That's what I think is going to happen. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But I did get this Gigafactory in China correct. I predicted the next Gigafactory in China would be built in China. And yeah, I got lucky on that one. So let's see what happens with this. Now, the expected annual volume of vehicles coming out of Gigafactory Berlin will be 500,000 eventually. That's the unofficial target. Initially, it'd be 150,000. And what will happen eventually is that all these vehicles, on the majority of them anyway, will have 4680 battery cells or LFP cells from CATL. In addition, they'll have structural battery packs, mega castings for front and rear parts of the car, and an innovative paint process. But initially, those cars coming from Gigafactory Berlin, currently they have 2170 cells in them. So as part of this new process, of course, Tesla plans on having a battery plant, a battery facility at their Gigafactory in Germany. You know what? I'm pretty excited about Tesla's plans. The reason why they make sense, they make so much sense that, um, you know, it's completely logical. Tesla needs to keep their costs down. They need to keep efficiencies as high as possible. It makes sense to ramp up production at existing facilities or to build new facilities nearby those existing facilities in order to have what? Efficiency of scale. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.